Please read the instructions carefully before testing. Let the samples, reagent, and other materials for the test equilibrate to room temperature. The test should be run at room temperature. Insert the swab into the areas of posterior pharynx wall and the tonsils where there is redness. Rub the swab over the areas firmly and gently to obtain a good sample. Remove the swab from the mouth without touching any surface, including the tongue, teeth, and gums. Tilt the patient's head 70 degrees. Gently insert the swab into the nostril. The swab should reach a depth equal to the distance from the nostrils to the outer opening of the ear. Leave swab in a place for several seconds to absorb secretions. Slowly remove the swab while rotating it. Add 400 microliters, about 10 drops, extraction buffer to the sample extraction tube vertically. Immerse the nasal pharyngeal or oral pharyngeal swab tip into the extraction buffer and rotate it close to the inner wall of the tube for about 10 times to dissolve as much specimen as possible in the buffer. Squeeze the swab head against the inner wall of the extraction tube as you remove it to expel as much liquid as possible in the tube. Place the dripper on the top of the tube. Remove the test cassette from the sealed pouch and place it on a level surface. Transfer 80 microliters, about 3 to 4 drops, processed specimen to the sample well and start the timer. Read the result at 15 to 20 minutes. Results read after 30 minutes are considered invalid. Positive results. The color bands appear at both test line T and control line C, indicating the presence of SARS-CoV-2 antigen in the specimen. Negative results. The colored band appears at the control line C only, indicating that concentration of the SARS-CoV-2 antigen is zero or below the detection limit of the test. Invalid results. No visible colored band appears at the control line, possibly because the instructions were not followed correctly or the reagent has been deteriorated. In this case, a retest is recommended.